Hi, I'm Sarah Noble, and today I'm going to be giving you my oral presentation on how emergency management is impacted by climate change. Now, for good measure, I'm recording this outside uh, on my back deck here in North Carolina, where it is currently 96 degrees and feels like uh, 108 uh, at about 5 p.m. And the highest recorded temperature in the past 100 years on this day in this area was 100 degrees um, in 2008. Thank you to weather.gov for that. So now I'm going to share my screen and we'll get started with the actual presentation. Okay, so this is emergency management and climate change like I had said before. And so first I wanna give you a brief history of climate change. The global temperature has risen by 0 0.08 degrees Celsius per decade since 1980. So since 1980, the earth, while it may not uh, feel like it's gotten much hotter, it has, and everyone here, especially in Florida, can feel that. Uh, greenhouse emissions, uh, CO2 use increased by 90% since 1970, uh, meaning that it's, our use is still increasing even though the boom started in the Industrial Revolution. All of those emissions from the carbon dioxide that we're using is going into the atmosphere and you know, trapping that excess heat in. So if you take global temperature and greenhouse emissions and you combine them, you're going to get strengthening storms. Uh, natural disaster frequency and effects are likely to increase and have increased due to rising temperatures. Think about all of these superstorms we're having, and I believe it was last year or the year before, where we had so many named storms, like tropical storms, hurricanes, that we went through the entire English alphabet and had to use the Greek alphabet. So... What does this mean for emergency management? So first we have to remember the roles of emergency management and I modified these roles for terms of climate change, mitigation, preparedness, response, and recovery. Mitigation, you have to be ready to deal with a natural disaster and help lessen overall damage. Preparedness, be ready to provide aid, but it's impossible to stop a natural disaster in its track. So you just have to be prepared. Response, provide aid for when disaster strikes uh, and recovery, clean up the impacted area and get everybody back to normal. So to combat this, I came up with the three Bs, bigger, brighter, and better for emergency management because we can't stop these major storms, but we can focus on how we're impacted by them. So bigger, more widespread sources. Yes, we have the national stockpile. Yes, we have all of these FEMA operations centers and you know it's all run by the federal government, but the more prepared we are and the more widespread these resources are, the quicker we can respond to an emergency and a disaster to save more lives. Brighter, new minds, new planning. This one, I think we all can kind of understand from our case studies uh, when the government you know, at some point would not listen to the people and didn't really believe that a storm was as strong as it was. So, you know, we need to bring in these new minds. We need to bring in these new planners and have all of these brand new ideas for emergency management to bring it in to help combat climate change and all the storms it's going to bring. And better, we just need to combat the effects of climate change. You know, we can be more prepared for climate change, but nothing is gonna get better if we don't combat it. So emergency management, maybe we should see what practices we can use. You know, can we use less plastic? Can we use more renewable resources in terms of emergency management, maybe reusable cloths or whatever uh, to maybe help the environment. And uh, that's about all I have for you guys. Those are my references. But yeah, thank you so much for listening in. And I hope that this very brief presentation uh, gave you some insight into how climate change is affecting emergency management. Thanks.